My name is Professor Tim Briggs. I'm an orthopaedic surgeon at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital Stanmore, where I've been a consultant for 23 years. And I'm the current president of the British Orthopaedic Association and are co-hosting this combined EFORT BOA meeting at the Excel Centre in London. We have a real problem uh, in orthopaedics across the world for two reasons. We have an ageing population and by 2050 over 2 billion of the population in the world will be over the age of 60. If you compare that to 1950, the figure was only 856 million. The reason that we're in a perfect storm is that we now have across the world world debt and that March 2014 the world debt amounted to almost 53 trillion dollars which affects every country except perhaps China. So if we're going to maintain timely care for our populations at ages we are going to have to change the way we carry out and treat our patients. So in 2012 I wrote a report getting it right first time to enable government to take this forward and try and look at the problem and provide the solutions. Now this is not just a problem in the UK, it's a problem across the world. Today we had a consensus panel meeting with clinicians and non-clinicians, with patients representatives to discuss the way forward and how clinicians, patients, industry can work together to actually make sure we continue to provide timely care and effective care for our patients. Part of the session was also about manpower and how we change the way we deliver care and Scott Bowden gave an excellent talk on his thoughts about how manpower might change going forward into the future. We also had an excellent talk from Andy Carr who's the Professor of Orthopaedics at Oxford about the need for orthopaedic surgeons to use evidence based to confirm and conform to what treatment plans they're going to use. A very good talk from Mr Illingworth from industry about how industry wants to work with clinicians and government and politicians going forward to make sure we have the best treatments for patients with the best outcomes. Finally, before we heard about the GERF report itself and what's happening in England, we had an excellent talk by Dr Mike Smith, who's the co-chair of the Patients Association, talking about what patients want to see and what their expectations are from us going forward to enable them to receive timely effective care.